Hello everybody and welcome back to Metal Gear Rising in the last episode. We beat no oh, shit. No. Oh, oh god. We're moving. No. We beat Blade Wolf in this very level. Yeah, big parry fest as well as learn some more about the story. This time, we're gonna go fight Mistral and yeah, that's about it. I'm just gonna go fight Mistral. So I'm just going to be mostly quiet for these cutscenes again. Dosayev. Dosayev. Pull the gun a cyborg. No, sure. Okay. You don't. You think that you'd have a directional microphone too? If you can zoom up to that much. <laughs> I'm a married man. I'm married. <laughs> I'm a married man, Doc. Can't be over here catching cooties. I just dodged a bullet. <laughs> Sorry. It right. was terrible. I'm heading for the refinery. Yeah, so I think I've decided about half an hour episodes for this game. Comparatively to the 15 of Mario. Mainly because anything long anything longer and it would be reaching ridiculous levels. And I don't know, I'm, I'm kinda of feeling like having a smaller episode count overall, but Still being an overall long relaxed one. In terms of pure runtime. Stab. And you are good. You get little bonus dialogue if you do it properly. Yoink. Dangerous. I'm gonna away so I can just see me. How come you stopped me? What a gentleman. In response, I'll take his left arm and then kill him. <laughs> you don't have to go for that, but it gives you extra battle points, so I think I'll take as many as I can get, personally. Um, is there any secrets around here that I'm missing? That's these two chests. Mm, nope. I don't think so. Gecko units. I think... I think I can do this section full stealth. Yeah, let's try it. Fuck it, why not? Not too often I actually get to play this game full stealth. Nope, never mind. You don't want to move out of the way, dude. You're also going to get smacked by this thing. Okay, somehow not. First things first. Killing him. And this is one substantial easier. Again, fighting these guys are mostly just parries. Sometimes can be harder for new players. Okay, this guy's got. It. Look, buddy. I don't think I don't appreciate the effort. No, clearly I do. But you gotta fuck off. Thanks for the pick up, and now I'm gonna tear apart your friend. Hope you don't mind. Because of his dead friend. Pick off of him. And slice him in half. Easy fight. So I'm recording this pretty much right, right in between uh, when Mario 64 is currently uploading. I think right now, uh, at the time of me recording this, 
I'm on episode 8, I think? Ah, oh, yeah, he's right. Eh, it could suck. Alright, whatever. Anyway. I think right now I'm currently on episode 8 for what I'm uploading right now. Because, uh, full transparency, I record an entire Let's Play. Unless well, it's excruciatingly long, but... This one, of course, is gonna be... Completely... What the fuck? Alright, sure, buddy. What did you say? I mean, if you just really don't want to see me, I guess. Really? Um... Oh, I lost my train of thought. That guy was sheer blindness, kind of. Kind of, kind of got to me. Anyway, I uh, usually full transparency. I usually record these pretty well, like extreme amounts in advance. Like, like Fox Sonic Adventure was started recording three months before it was fucking uploaded. Well, it's just me being incompetent and slow, but you know, it's healthy. Um, the caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It um, is your choice. Yeah, screw it, why not? I just extra battle points I'm leaving on the table. Up above you. No, remember those two coffers that came by? Ba boom. <laughs> that's, well, that's a quick kill for one of them. Now remember that cutscene when uh, we fought our first chopper? How there was a second one? And the third one? That just kinda dipped? Yeah. This is them. Again, tearing these guys apart isn't too, too difficult. But eh. Uh, and that mean pull that out? Whatever. That was a miss in the past, I think they're calling it nowadays. I guess I got updated myself by even making a reference to that. Fine. Yeah, damn it, game. Ah, oh, there you go. And you're done. Clean in half. And boom. Optional shit done. Yay, I did it. See, eat shit. Well, like, well, I guess I did kind of cheese the other one. Eh, maybe it's deserved. Well, we'll see, but... Alright. Beep, boop, beep, beep. Oops. Right, the cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. If you wasn't able to cut through chain link fence, how the fuck would I be able to buy second metal gear? That was before I had retarded equipment. Alright, whatever. Chainlink no longer exists. So here we get to introduce into whole new enemies. I don't remember the names of these ones. All I know is that they make me find them angry. They're not hard enemies, just annoying enemies. Especially in large groups. Because they get their stun grabbing. Which can be extremely, extremely annoying when trying to fight other enemies. But again, not hard to kill, so. Nope. God, this game's flashy as hell, and I love it. You can parry these guys. No real point to though. Oh no, they're just great for tensing me. I already took the weekend. And boom. Easy peasy lemon dead people. S rank, let's go. So in order to proceed, we need to jump up into here. Cut through the air vents. Don't here because we're must no. be in here. I will him. not make an Among Us reference. It is 2022. 
I'm better than that. Even if I may want to, I should. I shan't? I shall not. There we go. That's the proper English. You just cut the pillar that this is on, and it just breaks the fucking camera for some reason. Use your IR sensing to figure out where these traps are. The game will instruct you if you don't already have your IR vision up, but since I did, the game's gonna not inform me. Ooh, you look up there, something secret. Hmm. Oh. Solid air, my favorite platform. Stop, 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 stop. So you can do this section completely stealth, which I think I will do just to save on a little bit of time. I'm still under. But I will take out all the cameras just because that's extra battle points I'm just going to leave on the table or possible detection. So, eh, whatever. I'll go up to perfect stealth unless I fuck up. In that case, that guy's getting carved into little bitty bits. Oh, look! You're done. Sit down. Delicious. Thanks for your blue Kool Aid. If you do actually get seen by those lasers, big guys spawn. This granted, isn't too hard to beat. Especially if you know how to parry. But you know, still, still a good punishment for fucking up stealth. Which I kind of enjoy. Stealth without consequences just isn't stealth. But I like, but I like how the stealth is optional. It's like a, it's like a good seasoning on a steak. It's not overpowering the flavor of the steak, but it's a nice little side piece. It's like a garnish almost. Like not at all necessary, but it's kind of nice. Oh fuck me, poor guy. He says that I turn him into a fucking fine red paste. What are you talking about? Jerry loves being hamburger. His favorite pasta. Yeet, and then grab him. You're dead. Yoink. I don't so much for full self, but hey, at least they're all dead. And that's all that matters. Out of context, that comes really bad. And I'm not sorry. There we go, cut up the camera. If you actually come down here... The game's like, haha, here, ha have this box. Now leave, please. But if you keep going... Chop this box. <laughs> nice hiding spot. You can see a guy now. hiding in a box. And it kicks towards MIB, which is men in boxes. Basically, there's five of them that are hidden. Kill them all, I'm not sure what you get. All I know is that it's funny. And I like going for them. So here's actually how you get that hidden box. Chop up one of these ventilation things. Oh, whoops. You can not see. Cut open the chest. Yay, we now have more health. Whoopee. Actually, pretty fucking useful. So, if you go against... Going up and come on down here. Yeah, VR mission. Oop. Again, I don't think I'll be you I don't think I'll be doing any of these. Not even just to show them off, because this game's already gonna be fucking long enough. But if you want it, it's there. I don't actually know the locations of every collectible, so sorry if I don't cover one. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dosaev, where is he? I can <laughs> show you a better time than that, crusty old bear. You're in charge here. Don't say the word crusty, please, Mr. I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. 
And you, your reputation precedes you. Is her heels made out of a natural born out of blades? Even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, hmm. you know? I'm An Algerian French, French woman. And <laughs> Okay, we and our own civil war in the nineties. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. But I, I butchered those, those fuckers. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I love how it goes from like sympathetic to I murdered them. I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. I found my calling. Calling for killing. Are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino. One after another. The thing Not with one her one design is that I think it's like, um... Adrift, without challenge, or the octopus, without whatever the fuck they're called, in, uh... Even envied my prey. In Metal Gear Solid 4. Which I think might actually be a reference. That her design might be a reference towards that, but you know. I don't know. And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I protect the weak. <laughs> Still? Poor guy. So he doesn't deserve that. If I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. Well, at least your mercy killed it. it. Even if it is a robot and it doesn't have feelings. Take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Time for a transformation sequence. Except for she's not going super slow. Bro, think of the high fives. Motherfucker is asking for a high five. This bitch is asking for a fucking high fifteen. Wait, no fifteen. How many hours you got there? One. I think she has fourteen arms. I'd be like, I'd be well above high fifties. This bitch would really be fucking <laughs> me trying to go for ah, piss off. High seventies. <laughs> Friends. Ah, fucker. I recommend picking out a small frag first, then focusing on this for now. I don't think you can carry that move. I think we're able to. But if you can, let me know. This game's lock on and also a little funky. With how, um, which point of interest is actually. What actually the camera will focus on when in lock on mode. But eh. It's probably better on controller, but eh. Shouldn't be, I'm kicking your ass. You can carry them. I don't think they give you any benefits out of carrying them. I think it's just to be flashy. Fuck off, little bastard. I will say, in Stral's theme, Stranger Island Name, also a really good banger. 
If I actually died in this draw, I'm gonna laugh. Actually, you know what? I should probably get this. Just in case. Yeah, it's kind of a just in case option. This will automatically heal me if I sink below. Basically, imagine it like having a fairy in Legend of Zelda, where it doesn't full heal you. Well, once you have health upgrades. But it will give you. It will. It will. Uh, it's basically think of it as a one-up without actually kicking you out. I can do it really. So it is incredibly helpful. Later on, we actually do get an armor upgrade that makes healing items more plentiful. It's a whole plate armor and allows the whole head instead of fuck. Oh, excuse me. And here's the lyric for the version. So thankfully, Mistral is not really that hard, if you know what you're doing. And again, I don't think anything in this game is really hard if you know what you're doing. It's also just boring. And not failing to keep ease. Which can be sometimes a pain in this. It's just most of the reaction stuff. Do a backflip. He punctures that. I'm not sure what was in that container, but whatever it is, it freezes in the straw. It's now a French popsicle. It's a few quick slices. And. Almost the same amount of part size weighs more. Mistral beaten. Yeah, I got a C, so I'm probably only gonna get an A, maybe a B on this overall. Report. Your vitals are dropping. I lost. <sighs> so this is how they felt. Were your victims also oh, frozen and cut in different little bits? I don't know what that means. I can't translate. This motherfucker literally just kamikazes himself. And that's the end of chapter two. Here the landing zone. So basically anywhere that's not on fire?
And if so, I'm going to be walking for a while. And there it is. No, oh, chapter one, but you know, chapter two. Ah, damn, I'm going to have to get ranked. I missed a combat mission, Craig! Alright, well, I think that'll be it for this episode. It's going to be a little shorter than the others, but I may as well, since it's the end of the chapter and all. But I guess I'll see you guys next time. Next time on Metal Gear Rising, we'll continue on with the story. See you guys then. Later.